Friends and family gathering to remember those killed in last Wednesday's horrific mass shooting at a bowling alley and bar in Lewiston, Maine. We think of those who lost their lives. We do not want to forget those that are in the hospital right now, still fighting for their lives. Following a massive manhunt that lasted more than 48 hours, the suspected shooter, 40-year-old Robert Card, found dead Friday of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. 18 people killed, including Billy Brackett. His father says since the shooting, anger has consumed him. Just a lot of anger. I, I'm calming down a little bit today because I know the guy is gone and, and, and he's no longer a threat to anybody. Among the 13 others injured, Tom Gimberti, who was shot at the bowling alley. Tom was able to get these kids out of the line of fire and ended up getting shot himself. ABC News has learned the suspect ordered a silencer back in August. It was shipped to the nearest gun dealer, Coastal Defense, but he had to fill out this 4473, a firearms transaction record form, which asked in part, have you ever been committed to a mental institution? To which he checked yes. That answer under Maine's yellow flag laws prevented him from getting the suppressor. And said, I'm sorry, Mr. Card, we cannot give you this because of these reasons. And he was very cooperative. And he says, oh, that's a mistake, and I'm sure I can get it clarified. During a briefing Saturday, officials emphasize mental health is a key focus of their investigation. This, in addition to Card's possession of firearms and whether his psychiatric history should have barred him from possessing any guns at all. On Saturday, an ATF official said the weapons recovered in the investigation appear to have been purchased legally. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Lewiston, Maine.